It's all the same stuff I tell everybody. Make good decisions. <laughs> Don't do anything I wouldn't do, which is not a lot, so be careful doing that. All right, guys, we have made it on to the water. Sorry I didn't talk to you beforehand, but here we are. Kayak Adventure Series, day number one. This is the afternoon session. We are at the bridge, the bridge where we caught all our fish the other day on the call shine. So we're gonna see what we can get done. There were quite a few people at the ramp. That's kind of why I went ahead, got in the water, got all my stuff organized and got ready to go just because there was so many people here. Um, so that's why I didn't end up talking to the camera, but we got a call shad, spinner bait, wacky rig. We got all the things I think we're going to need. The wind is absolutely cranking today. And so this is going to be like my area. I mean, I really think that I can catch a limit in here and we can get some stuff done. We're just going to have to fish it thoroughly and really pick it apart, which that is the plan for today. And so, yeah, here we go. We got about 30 minutes to lines in. It's 2.30 right now and uh, we're done so it's three to seven that's the afternoon session so four hours of fishing and i think we can get done what we need to get done in four hours to get a good solid limit and then tomorrow we go execute on plan b on day two and i'm excited but we gotta get through day one today first so yeah let's get after it all right boys and girls it is game time let's let her rip tater chip There you go, guys. Not a big one, but a fish. All right, guys. Well, my fish are gone. Um, I don't know where they went. I don't know if somebody came out here and caught them or what happened, but my fish are gone. I got one bite right there on that bridge. I got about eight bites there the other day, and so there's nothing I can do about it other than just go fishing. So we're going to fish this bridge gonna fish that bridge one more time just to double check because I mean I did go through there about three times before I got that one fish to bite and then we're gonna maybe just I don't know pick up a move not pick up a move but make quite a bit of, of a move and, and go see what we can find Any, anything a little bit different but yeah suck All right, guys, another little one. All right, guys, so we spent an hour and 10 minutes on that bridge. We got two bites. 
we're gonna buzz down here to the docks that are near my Airbnb because I know there's fish sitting on those. So we're gonna go check that out, but we're an hour and 10 minutes into this thing and we've only got two bites so far. All right, guys, another little one, number three. Thank you. Well, there's number five. It's a 12 incher, but it's a 12 incher, so. Thank you. All right, guys. Well, I've got my limit that I've been looking for. Um, it's not a big one at all, but it is a limit. I'm happy, especially considering that where I thought my fish were going to be, we're definitely not there. We've kind of moved out in the main lake. The lake is the water, the water. The wind has died down a little bit. 
and so it makes us able to get out here into the lake and uh, try to catch some of these fish and so we're going to spend our time out here probably until about six and then start heading back towards the bridge and then spend the last hour or so fishing the bridge and see if we can this fish reposition see if we can get a bite or something like that but that's number five so let's do it Seems to be about the size on this lake. I mean, do you guys catch them bigger out here? Should be, yeah. Should be. The only big one I caught was, I've been here all week. Monday, I caught a 18 and a quarter. It's probably about four pounds on the bridge back there. That, but that's the only kind of big one I've seen. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys, a little bit of an upgrade there. All right, guys, another little upgrade there. We have figured out a little bit of a bite here. Um, none of these fish are big. We did just talk to a guy, though, guy, a guy down there that had like a 20 inch in his net. Um, so there's big fish here. It's just finding them and getting them to bite. I mean, we kind of figured that out the other day when we were here and we caught that 18 incher. But, um, so yeah, I'm throwing a baby bass max scent general. That's the bait that they're biting. Um, I caught the first couple obviously on the call shot on the bridge and we're going to try to go back and do that, uh, here in just a little while. You know, once we get down, I think when I got about an hour left, I'm going to head back that way and uh, throw that call shot on that bridge and just see if some fish are positioned up there or what have ha what happened but yeah i don't know where those fish went i don't know if i just kind of hit that in a special time and caught those fish quick or what happened or maybe they'll position back up in there but right now we got 
the general in our hand, wacky rig, throwing that, buzzing dock to dock to dock to dock. And uh, that's what we're going to keep doing for a little while because it seems to be working. And, and my philosophy is, you know, skip up on one of these docks and one of them's got to be a four pounder. I mean, you would think. And so that's what we're going to do. We're just trying to stay out of the wind too because that'll be another thing that wind is is wanting to blow and we're just trying to stay away from it. But yeah, we're going to stay after it. There's my worm. There it goes. Another little one. Thanks, buddy. All right, guys. So we, um, we have fished all the way up that set of docks right there. I'm gonna turn around and start heading back to where I came from. I'm gonna fish that bridge. So it's six o'clock, we've got one hour left. It's probably gonna take us about 30 minutes to get back down to the bridge, uh, which means it'll give us 30 minutes to fish the bridge, try to maybe pick up a coal fish, and then we'll be done for today and we'll go get back after it again tomorrow. Like I said, we're going to a completely different spot tomorrow. If you've not watched the videos leading up to this, which were my practice days for this tournament, I went to a smallmouth spot. Uh, kind of riverine spot absolutely one of the coolest places not the coolest place i've ever fished and we caught some big ones there and this was the plan today come here get a large mouth limit and then go cold with big small mouth tomorrow and so that is what we're going to try to do currently we are in eighth place which probably won't stand because there's probably people who haven't submitted their fish yet um, but we've got 76 inches our biggest fish is 16 and our smallest fish is a 13 and three quarter and so yeah we're gonna stay after it. we're gonna see what we can get done i mean i would love to cull that 13 inch with like an 18 or a 19 that would make me feel really good or just cull it with a couple 16s but we're heading back down here we're gonna get down here uh fish this bird that'll be it guys that is the end of day number one for the kayak adventure series here in whitehall michigan uh last time i looked at the standings i was inside of the top 10 which i don't think that will stand very long just because i know there's some people that probably haven't uploaded their fish yet and they've got till eight o'clock to get that done today was good um the fish that i was catching had left but we kind of scrambled we threw together a limit we cold up a couple times we don't got anything special 78 inches or something like that but that gives us a lot of room to improve tomorrow and tomorrow we are going head hunting to say the least we're going for big ones that's all i'm looking for and i mean if you guys watch the practice video i didn't catch a fish under 18 inches where i am going tomorrow and i'm going to spend all day long picking apart every single one of those canals until we can find some big fish which i think we can do but yeah there you go that's the end of day one i'm gonna go get some food because i'm really really hungry and we'll see you guys bright and early tomorrow good morning ladies and gentlemen here we are kayak adventure series day number two we have made it out here to the river we're just kind of sitting here right now. It's 5.30. we got 30 minutes to lines in, and we're the only person at the boat ramp. I was so nervous that someone else had found this bite, but they haven't. And so we're lucky this morning. We've got this place completely to ourselves unless someone shows up late. But I'm excited about it. We're going to see what we can get done. I mean, thing is, we came here the other day, and like I said, we only 
got big bites. And the thing about this place is, is there's so many little canals that we can cut into and try to go catch big fish. And so I got the spinnerbait tied on. I'm ready to rock and roll. So pretty much spinnerbait and a choppo is what it's gonna be today. The thing about the choppo the other day was, is I got some big bites on it, but I missed some bites too. And so probably gonna primarily stick with the spinnerbait because the fish seem to wanna eat it. And if we hit a calm pocket where I think I can get a big bite on a choppo, we'll pick it up and see what we can do. But yeah, we're sitting in ninth right now. I think if we can put together a good limit today to just kinda pretty much call out everything we had yesterday, we're gonna be cooking with peanut oil. So yeah, let's uh, sit here for 30 more minutes and then it'll be game time. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's game time. Let's let this thing rip. We're literally going right there. There's a call, guys, 17 and 3 quarters. There's our first bite of the morning. Uh, There's a call. That's a pretty good call, too, because I think my smallest was 13 inches. 13 and 3 quarter. So that was a 4 inch call. Yeah, that's like what we need right now. We need fish like that. I need five more just like that. Well, bigger than that but that's our first bite i didn't get a ton of big bites right here the other day i just got one really big bite so i thought we'd just come here first because it's the closest one but we got miles and miles of stuff like this that we can fish not this small though because we'll get into some bigger stuff here in a minute but i got some big bites in as well so this feels good that's what we're looking for Alright guys, we're in the truck heading to the next spot. We're about 20 minutes away. Current time is 11.52, so that means we'll get there about 11.20, be on the water by 11.40, and we're gonna spend the rest of the day seeing if we can catch any upgrades. I have no idea what's gonna happen. Um, yeah, I just, that second spot, I was so excited about it, but that's tournament fishing. I, my dad always used to say, and it's the no true statement has been said as soon as you pay that money all bets are off the table it all goes out the door the wheels fall completely off and that is absolutely 100 percent true and uh we scrambled yesterday because the fish left we're scrambling today because the fish left and hopefully our scramble today will result in something good but like i said about 20 minutes away sitting well guys we got to the lake we were planning on going to and the parking lot is literally full like and when i say literally full I mean, there is not a single space available anywhere for me to get in my truck and my trailer. I actually had to make about a 13 point turn to get out of the parking lot because of how many trucks were there. I would guesstimate there's probably 12 or 13 trucks, not including what's parked down um, near the bottom, which is like the handicap parking. I think there was four more trucks down there. And you know, I say parking lot, it's a parking lot. It's literally just a dirt circle um around some trees and like there was dudes double parked parked on top of each other like i said i barely got out of there and so we're just gonna head back to white's lake it's where we fished yesterday for the tournament the river treated us with one fish and then a bunch of small ones and so we're gonna go to white's and we're gonna throw a wacky rig on docks and we're gonna throw our call shot on that bridge and we're gonna see what happens because that's all i got and so it's uh, 11.18, we'll get down here about 11.40 and they'll get us on the water probably about 12 and 
and that means we'll have three solid hours to try to go make something happen and so hopefully we can call out the, the 14s and 15s with a couple more 16s and maybe make a little shake and a move and i don't know we just got to sit that we got to find out and so here we go scramble hail mary something like that just gotta go all right guys here we are spot number two we're about to get after this thing with a blue goo on his throat. That's awesome. Should be a little bit of an upgrade. Yes, whole 15 and a half. That's a coal. Fifteen inch, it doesn't help. How did that fish fight that hard? <laughs> Literally the hardest fighting fish of the day and he's doesn't help. <sighs> I'll tell you what guys. Any other day these would all be 18 inches.
A 14 incher.